All right, traders, I just made a video on how much money I had made in 2020. So let's dive a little bit deeper into some of the possible profits that we can be getting as a trader. I am going to be looking at some of the best traders I know in terms of how much are they making and say as an absolute best example, how much could you be making assuming you're not gambling? Now, all these guys on there posting 520K, somebody just posted that, you know who it is. Jackpot strategy. All day. And that is ridiculous gambling. That doesn't make any sense. And if you guys believe that that shit is possible on the regular, then you can go ahead and dislike the video right now. I actually want your dislike. It is a once in an occasional type thing that that is possible. And you're going to be risking massive amounts and you're going to blow your account over and over. And then you're going to cry. And these guys that are doing it, they don't give a shit about blowing their accounts. They're just trying to do it over and over until they get it right once. Anyways, enough of that rant. Starting off, let's look at if you're a new trader, what's a decent R for you to get with a smaller account? How much you could be making as a very beginner within your first year or two and then we're going to be looking at the best possible traders that i know that are actually trading profit properly All right, guys, so it is Hunter with Hunter FX. You guys know who it is already. It's the most woke trading community in the world where we actually give you good knowledge here. We actually trade institutional trading and we do it with a couple jokes here and there. So if you guys want to hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. If you guys want to hit that like button, go ahead and hit it. And if you're a fan of Jackpot, go ahead and hit the dislike. God, man, that shit's ridiculous. All right, guys, so I just posted my personal trading results for last year and I think we came up with 67R. And everything we're going to be talking about here is going to be in terms of R and we're going to be using a rough account. So when I said I got 67 R, let's say that we times that by 2% risk and that is ugly. Um, and let's say that we had a 50 K account. So this was kind of the, the rough analysis that we had for a trader who is roughly my caliber. So we got 67 times two times 50 K times 1.34, right? So 67 K is what we would have made if you're risking 2% per trade, right? So if you're roughly my caliber, that's roughly what you're going to be making. That's a perfectly fine salary. And this kind of goes into, you know, what I've said before, where if you're not, if you're not sitting with about 30 K, it's not practical to be trading full time as you know, even a, a newer trader, you're going to need minimum 30 K. So let's say 30 K and let's dumb this down a little bit and say in a year as a, as a newer trader, you've only been doing this for a couple years, you made 50 R, right? So 50 R times two, we're going to be making, geez, I'm getting a phone call. Jesus, guys. All right, guys, enough with the ladies calling me. Let's get back to what I was talking about here. So if we had about 50R and we were risking 2%, well, obviously that's going to be times two and we're going to have a 100% gain on our account. So if you're sitting with 30K, you're making 30K in a year. Some people can't handle success. I can. <laughs> that's kind of a newer trader that's actually making money. So you're going to be able to make 30K in a year. So that's kind of the minimum you can live off of, I think. 30K is not enough to live in Vancouver, not even close. Close, you could maybe live in a basement suite outside on the skirts of Vancouver. So if we're looking at then kind of the lowest possible, so let's dive into the lowest possible here. If you're a consistently profitable trader, you're going to be making about 5R per month. We're going to be making times 12. We're going to be making 60R. That's right around what I've just said, 60R. And we're going to be sitting with, you know, let's say again, 30K, right? So 60R times, we're going to be risking two, 120 and times 30K here, 30K times 1.2. And again, 36K, pretty much the exact same number I just came up with. And this is pretty much the minimum that you're going to be making as a trader. Once you are consistently profitable, you do have a decent starting account balance. Now, I really wouldn't suggest you guys to be trading with anything less than 30K if you're trying to do this uh, full time, right? And I think anyone who is living in North North uh, America, you can really get 30k no problem. If you start saving up, you can literally save up. If you start if you start saving an extra grand a month, something like that, it's going to take you a year to make 12k. You're going to compound some accounts, and it's going to take you maybe two years to get 30k, right? And that's if you're literally not doing anything on the side except for your just regular job and you're saving money. Uh, so I would I would say it take about three years of consistent profitable trading. 
uh, before you're actually going to be able to be trading full time. If you're starting with an account that's, you know, less than 10 K plus an extra two years of learning, something like that. You're going to have about five years until you're going to be a consistently profitable trader. I know it's a little bit off topic here now, guys, uh, but that's just a rough estimate. If you guys aren't doing anything, that's just getting a massive influx of money and you're just going about it the normal way. So let's clear this off somehow. I don't know how to use this freaking board. So let's look at the absolute best traders in a best case scenario. If you were amazing and you just learned from a best trader, right? And the best trader I personally know consistently. Okay. So there are some traders who are inconsistent, right? All day. And the absolute best trader I know is getting about 40 R a month. So that's 480 R a year. I've seen other people, they're getting about 400 a year when they're showing their results. They got 400 in 2020, 400 R. That's incredible. They've been doing it for a number of years. And the people who are doing things for like the 20 years, about 30 R is a, a very common number for somebody that's been doing this for 10 plus years, right? I see that quite often with very, very good institutional traders who have been doing this for a long time. So we can still say, okay, roughly 30 R times 12, and we're getting about 360. So 400 seems like a good number to kind of match max out at right but we wanted to see what's the absolute best here so let's say the absolute best trader possible let's go 500 r this is pretty much the pinnacle i don't know how much more possible this could be now 500 r per month is we're going to be able to make twice that because we're going to be risking 2%. And I'm suggesting 2% each time here just because it's a good number for you guys to be able to be trading uh, normally without getting too much of a drawdown. 2% is perfectly fair. You can adjust to 1% or whatever, but we're going to use 2% here. And so we're going to be going 1,000 basically, right? So 1,000 is essentially 10x. If you guys don't know math, uh, then I'm not going to explain it to you. So 10x on your account in a year. So that is absolutely massive 10 X on your account in a year. So let's say you started with a small account, somebody, let's say $5,000. I think everyone's pretty much got $5,000 sitting around somewhere. And you know, if you're making this kind of money, you could definitely scratch up $5,000 from, you know, your friends and family. You know, once you show that you're actually making this money, So $5,000 after one year, you're going to times that by 10, you're going to have 50 K and then another year you're going to times that and you're going to have a half a million. And in three years, you're going to have $5 million and it's going to go completely bonkers. And eventually you're going to get to a point where you're going to be sitting with so much money that you're actually going to be moving the market. So if you do that for another five years or something like that, you're going to be sitting $50 million. So this is five years in, you're going to start moving the market. I believe that's when you're kind of hitting the, the peak, right? And you're not going to be able to trade with all of your money anymore. You're really going to have to diversify after about five years. These are the absolute peaks. So again, let's kind of put it down. Let's say you're trading with 50 K seems like a good number. I like to use the word 50 K for some reason. And let's say, you know, the average best trader I knows, I knows, <laughs> I know multiple traders who are making roughly around 400 R and that's kind of the pinnacle, right? So let's say that you had 400 R and you're timesing that by 2%, right? So you're going to be making eight X in a year. If you have 50 K roughly times that by eight, and you're going to be making 400 K in a year. That's going to be giving you a, such a beautiful life guys uh, to be making 400 K in a year. You really don't have to worry about anything like that, but that's absolutely the best uh, case scenario. If you're a really, really good trader, this is using proper institutional methods. This is people who are really, really good at what they do. Basically people who trade better than me using very, very similar methods. And I think in another year, um, I think it's a very, very safe for me to be able to be hitting triple digits. I would be shocked if I'm not hitting triple digits this coming year. Most recently, I'm putting between 10 and 20 R in a month, and I am sitting at about a few years down the line. So let's say, let's say each year here. So we're also going to be looking at my data here so each month. We have about 15 R that's going to be maybe 2021. This is my projection Who times that by 12 R. So 180, maybe let's, let's dumb it down because December's our tough month. And let's say 150, right? More than, more than double what I got last year. That, that'd be beautiful. I'd be very, very happy with that. So if we're sitting again at, you know, a six figure account, so let's go, let's go hundred K at a six figure account times 150 R times 2%, we're going to be going three X. So hundred K times three is going to make me 200 K profit in the year. And that's basically what I made from all sources last year. So you guys can really see how trading really is exponentially grows over time and each year you're going to be making more and more and you're going to be getting better and better so hopefully guys that gave you a little bit of inspiration there we just did a little bit of analysis on you know what you could possibly make what a new trader makes we're basically ranging anywhere from 30k to 300k and it really really ranges depending on your skill 30k to 300k for anyone who's actually profitable who's been doing this for a couple years to you know maybe 10 years down the line and that's basically what you're going to be looking for but that's absolutely everything i have for you guys if you guys like this content please make sure you hit that subscribe hit the like button
button and i will see you guys next time this guy he's a hater too he don't know nothing about my strategy but then he want to go and talk shit about my strategy shout out to the jackpot one of the best traders on here